Hey guys, so I'm super excited because this is my Q&A and you guys have been asking for a really, really long time. Amber, when are you gonna start posting YouTube videos? When, when, when? And today is the day. And I'm super excited to start with Q&As because I feel like you guys have so many questions and there's only so much I can answer on Instagram. So make sure you subscribe, like, you know, all that good, amazing things. I think that's how people say it, right? Down here, press this and press this. <laughs> all right, so let's dive in and go through some of these questions. So these are questions that you guys asked me through Instagram. I got an overwhelming amount of questions. So here we go. Let's go with, what is your favorite snack? This is hard because I'm a huge foodie and I love to eat. People may think that I'm a girl that kind of diets and eats salads. And that is totally wrong. If you know me, then you know I love fast food. McDonald's is like my go-to and I eat whatever. But my favorite snack would have to be, gosh, it's so hard, but I'm a big like chips and salsa girl. I love chips and salsa. So that's probably my favorite snack. Let's go to the next question. All right, this is about my breast augmentation, which I get a lot of questions about from you ladies. Um, I did go to Dr. Hochstein here in North Miami. He was amazing, loved everything, super happy with my breast augmentation. Um, so this girl asked me, did you lose nipple sensitivity after your breast augmentation? I did not. Um, I think in the healing process, um, I had some numbness, things like that, but it's totally normal, especially when you go through your nipple for surgery. Um, everything's kind of like reconnecting, but everything is good. I was super happy. Um, I know there's gonna be other questions, so I, let's like keep this all together. Um, how many CCs did I get? I have 470 CCs. They're high profile. Um, they're gummy and they are silicone. I think that's under the muscle. There we go. So in a whole, that's my breast augmentation, you know, story went really well. The nurses were amazing. They called me after to make sure I was okay. And I was like healing well. Um, I did go back to work probably a week after. Um, I probably could have taken another few days off just because you can't really like lift your arms, but I'm a workaholic. So I wanted to go back to work. Um, the only thing I will say advice for you ladies, the aftercare is so important. Literally wear that ugly bra for a month. Don't work out for six weeks. Listen to your doctor because how you heal and how like the end is going to look depends on your aftercare. Okay. Um, this other person asked, do you have veneers? So yes, I do have veneers. I got my teeth done, gosh, I think it's almost been five years ago. I did travel to Colombia. Um, I got my teeth done with Dr. Montoya. Love the process. It was very easy. It was one day. He doesn't shave down your teeth. I was really nervous about having those little like vampire teeth. Um, so he does something with composite. So these are not actually porcelain veneers. They are composite teeth. Um, I'm actually looking to get my teeth redone. Not that anything is wrong with them. I love them, but I want actually porcelain veneers next. Um, it was probably one of my best investments ever. Um, I did my teeth before my boobs and I would never change the order. I love my teeth. Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> Are your brows microbladed? Yes, um, I recently got my brows microbladed and microshaded. So I went to a lady here in Miami, Michelle. She did an awesome job. In the front, she did microblading and that's little like hair-like strokes. And then they put the ink in there. It's like a whole process. They do numb it. And then the microshading kind of was at the end and that gives a more like structured brow, like kind of like how it would look if you were coloring them in. Um, I love the process. You do heal for about a week. It looks a little crazy, but totally worth it. Um, your eyebrows start to peel. You like can't get them wet. You have to put like 
um, aquaphor on them. It's like a scab. So it has to fully come off. You can't pick it, anything like that. But the end result is amazing. I'm very happy. You can go in for a touch up if there's like spaces that still needs to be colored in. Um, but otherwise, I highly recommend getting your eyebrows done because it's so nice to wake up in the morning and just get up and go. Lashes, eyebrows, I don't have to do anything. Let's see. There were so many good questions. Um, what's next on my bucket list? That's so hard. I really miss traveling out of country. So I guess since COVID, I have not technically been out of the country. Before, I would travel all the time. I, I've been traveling inside the States this whole time. I never stopped traveling. Um, last year, I went to Hawaii, um, LA, New York, like I'm all over the place. But I think the next place that I really want to go to is Australia. Um, my network marketing company just launched in Australia and it's super exciting. I have a great team and I want to go there so bad. But right now with the restrictions and, you know, vaccines and this and that, it's kind of crazy. So it's been kind of holding me back. But Australia and Egypt are probably the next two things on my bucket list that I want to travel to. Um, let's see. First date ideas. I like this one because I think a lot of people think that I'm over the top and extra and high maintenance from just seeing me on social media. So the perfect first date for me would have to be something where I don't have to dress up like that. I can come in sneakers comfortable. It's not like something that the pressure is on. I guess doing something like fun an activity, um, or even like grabbing lunch or, um, doing something productive, like maybe like a cooking class or learning something. Um, I think that's really fun. I love dinner. Look, I love dinners, but I also feel like it's so boring. And how much can you really get to know the person? You're just sitting at dinner, you're eating in between. I feel like it can get very awkward. Like, I don't know. I want to go like, what is it? It's like, um, like race car driving or whatever, doing something activity wise or like, going to an arcade and playing games like it's fun you get to know the other person like it's not so like stuffy so something comfortable oh these are good okay what's my favorite genre of music i love music in general i have a music note on my chest i think music is so important in life i don't know what i would do if i didn't have music um but I think my favorite genre of music has to kind of be like alternative rock. Um, I don't know. It just gets me hyped up. It's good music. It's good meanings, like good words. I think a lot of the songs are kind of like forever songs. Like you can listen to them at any point in your life and it's good music. Um, nothing against the music now, but I guess being 31, I'm like, what are these people talking about? Like, what are we saying in this music? I just feel old, but yeah, I'm definitely like a more old school type of person. I'm not in with all the trends right now. What is my favorite color? My favorite color probably has to be, I love pink, but I don't wear pink. So it has to be gray even though it's like such a dull color, but gray, white, black, like these are my three essentials that I'm probably wearing all the time. Um, but if you give me a choice, obviously the background is pink. Um, I like pink accents and things like that. Um, let's see. Do you work out every single day? No, absolutely not. Uh, I wish I could because I enjoy working out. It's, it's just part of my routine now. And I, I love it. I, I think on the days where you feel like crap and you actually get yourself to the gym, you have your best workouts ever. Um, and also I'm working on, um, some fitness stuff for my website. Also a fitness kind of like challenge workout ebook, things like that. So 
fitness is a big part of my life. Do I work out every single day? No. I lift four days a week. I take a break from lifting three days. And then I do cardio five days a week. My cardio is like 20 minutes. It's not anything crazy, but it's challenging, especially like having work and things like that. There's definitely times where I don't make it all week, like every single day. So it's not an everyday thing. Let's see. Do you feel like you're living your dream life or not yet? This is a really good question because I feel like at times I'm like, I'm doing so many big things. I'm doing all this stuff. And I'm like, wow, I'm really doing it. And then there's sometimes where I'm like, I guess in the motion of things. And I don't really think I'm doing anything big and exciting. But someone else's perspective is like, wow, you're like living the life. And I think that's all perspective. You know, what you want out of life, where you see yourself, dreams, goals. So do I feel like I'm living my dream life yet? No, I haven't touched it yet. I'm, I feel like I'm close, but still there's just so much more. There's so, more, so many more people I could touch, so many more people I can help. So I'm in the right direction. I'm on the road and there's a map and I'm excited about the journey. Are you more of an introvert or extrovert? I think I'm an introvert. Um, if you give me the choice to go out or stay in, I'm definitely staying in. I feel like I'm like a 50 year old lady. I'd rather be inside. Um, I can go to sleep at like 10 PM. If you're telling me like, we're going to do dinner at 11, I'm like, Ooh. so yes, I rather stay in to myself work. It, it's like a weird in between because I like being around people that I know and I'm comfortable with. But like, if it's new people, I'm like freaking out, like anxiety on a hundred percent. And I'm like, Ey. so what is your shoe size? My shoe size, I wear actually kid sizes in sneakers. I wear a five and then in women's like heels, I'm a six and a half. What influenced you first to take the step into what you're doing now? Gosh, with social media and influencing, I kind of like fell into it. I had this vision of what I saw on Instagram and girls being like models. And did I really know everything that went into it? No, there was no blueprint. A lot of people were very quiet on becoming an influencer or a model like you would just see these crazy trips i'm like man i want to be a model like they're on boats and yachts in this different countries and this and that but i didn't really know how to get there i didn't know if that was because of modeling like there was a lot of like unknown things um and then i was into social media it kind of just happened i booked some brands i started working with one of them hot miami styles which i'm still with them today um and I had to kind of study and do my like background on things. Like I was looking at Kylie Jenner and I was looking at these top models and people with brands. I'm like, all right, I have to make my Instagram like theirs. You know, if I'm going to do this, I have to educate myself. So I would look at posing. I would look at literally how their Instagram was set up, their bio, all these things. Um, so educating yourself, I think is definitely the first step and then also putting money into yourself like invest in you like it's okay it's going to pay off no matter what you do if you're buying a nicer phone if you're buying a camera a tripod lights like if it's for you and your trade and what you want to do it's so worth it um so when i first started getting pay like paying for photo shoots because i needed good photos you know there's people oh, i don't want to pay i don't want to do that i want to to get paid I'm like, I totally get it. But in the beginning, you're not going to get paid because you don't know what you're doing. So that was something that I really stuck by. And it was good um, because I realized that I had to invest in myself. Um, and then with the network marketing and helping people, it was I just got to a point where I felt like I had this platform on social media. But what was I doing with it? You know, just posting pretty pictures is fun. It's nice, but you know, what else? 
what else is there? And I want to help people. Like I really love helping people and inspiring people and mentoring people. So when network marketing kind of fell in my lap, I'm like, okay, well, this could be like the vehicle for that. So it's been two years in network marketing and I'm so happy. I love that I can help people in their lives with self-development, money issues, just confidence. There's so many things. It's really endless. Um, but invest in yourself, I think, is the first step into anything. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see. There were so many like nice messages too. Like, we just love you. Thank you for your support. Things like that. Um, what's your favorite place to hike and embrace nature's quiet land? Um, I haven't really done a lot of hiking around like the U.S., I really stepped into hiking when I went to Hawaii last year, which I was breaking fears last year. So I went to Hawaii for two weeks and I did a bunch of hikes and I actually jumped out of a plane, which I'm highly afraid of heights, but it was kind of going into the new year. I wanted to break those fears. So I can't really comment completely because I've only done hikes in Hawaii, but I did this hike and it was insane. It was definitely mind over matter. It was so high. It was called the stairway to heaven. And literally the whole time I'm hiking, I'm like, I love my life. I'm so grateful. Like, I love this. It was so high up. Halfway through, I didn't think I was going to make it. I even said to my friend, I'm okay if you want to turn around. But I, we were already halfway there. Like, how would it feel to turn around and go back down and say, I was so close. So we went to the top and actually coming down was super easy. Um, I think the hike took us like three and a half hours. But I definitely suggest it because it was amazing. Um, let's see. When is my birthday? I am a Pisces. So my birthday is March 20th. I'm on the cusp of Aries and Pisces. So I definitely have some traits of Aries. Um, which is interesting because my mom's an Aries. So I think we butt heads a little bit at times because of that. We're so similar. Let's see. Do you have a secret talent? I don't think so. Uh, like, so when I was younger, I could move my ears. Like, I don't know if I can do it anymore. No, I'll maybe get this one. But that's it. I don't think it's really a talent. It's like at a party. You're like, I can move my ears. <laughs> um, what do you look for in a guy? I get this question often. Um, look, you have to be attracted to someone 1000%. But for me, it's definitely personality. And like, if you can make me laugh, if you can be interesting, um, there's certain things that just don't matter to me, money being one of them. If you're working at something or, you know, you're motivated and I see you doing something, like, I don't need you to be a millionaire for me to date you. Like, I think a lot of people think that and I'm like, that doesn't mean anything. If they're not doing anything and you're a bum sitting at home, obviously that's not something that I'm going to be attracted to because I'm very much go, 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 go. I need someone to match that energy with me. Um, but honesty, loyalty, respect, um, family oriented. I am obsessed with my family. I love them. It's a big part of my life. So someone, you know, that has that same mentality or those traits, laughing, being fun. You know, I can't be with someone that's super like serious. Um, I'm really, really funny, but you have to like get that side out of me. And if you're just like, blah, it's never going to work. Um, my favorite vacation spot. Gosh, there's been so many places I've been. Um, probably the most breathtaking place that I went on vacation has to be Greece. Um, Mykonos was absolutely beautiful. And I remember arriving there and we were driving in like the van and we were coming around this corner. Let me paint, let me paint you this picture. <laughs> All the buildings are white. And you have this beautiful ocean of blue. And I remember just sitting there like quiet. Everyone was having this conversation. Like they were talking. 
and we're just coming around the corner and I'm just looking and it just looks like it's out of a painting. And for me, like I grew up with a single mom. My mom didn't get on a plane until she was 50. Like we didn't go anywhere. We like I went to Disney when I was 24 for the first time. So for me to be in this beautiful country, it was almost like, is this real? Like, how am I even here? It was a like a very good life experience, but that was probably the one of my favorite vacation spots was Mykonos. I didn't get to spend a lot of time there, but the people were nice. The food was amazing. And it's such a beautiful place. What is my ethnicity? So most people right off rip, they're going to think I'm Spanish. I get it all the time. I also live here in Miami. When I am in Miami, everyone talks to me in Spanish and I have to break the news that I don't know what they're saying. Um, I'm Italian, Polish, Native American, and Irish. What a mix. Definitely crazy. Um, but my last name is Quinn, super Irish. Um, I have freckles under here. They're there, I promise. Um, Actually, my cousin is a redhead, so just shows the Irish background. But everyone always asks me, what are you? We can't figure it out. Mm -mm -mm. We answered that one. There's so many good ones. What is something you thought you would outgrow but haven't? Habits are really hard to outgrow. Um... For me, it's probably putting things off, like procrastination. I thought by the time I was 30, I'm like, oh, I'm not going to do that anymore. I love working under pressure, but it's also very stressful. Like meanwhile, I'm, I'm stressing out, I'm freaking out, I have anxiety, but I get it done. Um, but I'm working on it because I don't like – you don't want to feel that way. You don't want to be stressed. You don't want to like work in that environment all the time. Once in a while, it's fine, but it's not a good, healthy way to work. So that's something that I thought I would outgrow and work on, but it's still a work in progress. What is my favorite book? Mm. I've read so many good books this year. I think there's one book that really... I think you can read so many different times in your life and you'll take something different from it. Um, one of my friends told me about this book years ago. And at first when I started reading it, I'm like, meh. So The Four Agreements. I am obsessed with this book because there may be one that you're more drawn to when you're reading it. And then, you know, three days down the road, you read it again or, you know, you know, a month later when you're going through something different, you read it and you take something totally different from it. So it's always the first book that I recommend to people. Let's see. <laughs> okay, what makes you, what makes a male attractive and worthy of your attention since you are a boss queen? Um, what makes someone attractive and worthy of my attention? I guess you, like, I have to really weed people out to a certain degree, like, in my dating over the years, especially with social media, like, I have to weed out who really wants to get to know me for me, or who's basing everything off my looks. Like, you're seeing what I, like, you see on Instagram, but that's not really always me fully, you know, I am probably never wearing makeup unless I have to go to work or I have something. Like, I am the girl that's in workout clothes or a hoodie and sweats. Like, I'm kind of a tomboy, but you wouldn't think that from my Instagram. So, you know, I just having someone like really genuinely want to get to know me and get to know like my mind and like the things I want to do in life. So, that's super attractive. And that's where I would give somebody my attention. Mm, what is your favorite movie? 
there's so many. But right now, because it's the holidays, I love The Grinch. I'm addicted to The Grinch. I've watched it a million times. I know all the parts, all the sayings. It's just a movie that I can watch all the time. My friends think I'm crazy, but I love it. Would you recommend living in Miami? I've always been in London and I love it, but how is Miami? Hmm. Look, I love Florida and South Florida. Do like I don't live in Miami, but for me, it depends on your lifestyle. Are you going out? Do you want like trending? Like, are you that person that's going to dinner every night? Yes. Then you should live in Miami. If not, you're more quiet, low key. Um, live somewhere close to Miami that you can go to dinner sometimes, but live in the suburbs. I don't think anything bad about Miami for me. Traffic is insane. I just don't want it. Okay, let's do two more. And then let's see. What was your dream career growing up? It's definitely changed a million times. Um, for the longest time, I, I wanted to be a ballerina. That did not happen. Um, and then the next was I wanted to be a nurse. I went to nursing school. And I realized I'm such a creative person. So to be in the box of like studying, it just was not for me. And I had bigger dreams and I'm very emotional as well. So I was thinking of like taking care of patients and like if something happened, I would be so emotionally attached. So I realized like that wasn't going to be the career for me. And then let's see. Let's pick one more. Gosh, there's so many good ones. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of inappropriate ones too. Do, 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 okay, I like this one. Do you invest in stocks or just crypto? If so, what stocks or what crypto? So I don't really invest in stocks yet. Um, I've kind of started with crypto and I am in a bunch of cryptos and coins, um, Bitcoin being one of them. I wish I would have stayed in Bitcoin four years ago when I put money in, but I took it out like an idiot, but it's okay because it's going to go up again. Um, Ethereum, Cardano, um, Crow. These are just some of the few. Obviously, these are just my own picks. This is not financial advice at all. I don't know much about that, but... Don't sleep on crypto, but I want to thank you guys for coming and watching my YouTube and this amazing Q and a leave a comment, what you want to see next. Make sure you subscribe and share this page. Bye guys.